It's on those signs that you see in craft stores and that people plaster on their living room walls. Just believe. As if that's the simplest thing in the world. What happens when it's not? Hey everybody, it is Wednesday. It is time for Bible study. Grab yours. And I hope that you will join me at 7 p.m. downstairs in the Fellowship Hall in person or you can join us online via Zoom. All the information how to do it that way is in the description of this video right here. And tonight we are in Mark chapter 9 beginning in verse 14. This is the story of Jesus driving an evil spirit out of a boy at the request of the boy's father. And the boy's father, when he goes to ask Jesus, doesn't sound incredibly, well, trusting. He asks Jesus, if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. As if he were asking, you know, I know you probably can't. I know you won't. I know you don't have time. You're very, very busy. But if you could possibly just do this. And he actually gets roundly mocked by Jesus, I think. Verse 23, Jesus said to him, if you can. And then tells him all things are possible for one who believes. Now again, easily said, very, very very hard to do. Why? Because our brains are not crafted to process miracles. We don't see them every day. That's the nature of a miracle. We are creatures of repetition and habit and pattern and miraculous events like a healing don't fit that pattern. And we can as this father does, simultaneously go to Jesus to ask him for something and yet maintain a certain level of doubt about whether he will or, or whether he even can do what we're asking. Sometimes the best we can do is to echo the words of the boy's father here who says, I believe, help my unbelief. I believe, help my unbelief. Simultaneously believing and praying for forgiveness for our doubts. And of course, in this case, that was enough. Jesus healed the boy. He was fine. His father went about his way. And um, having received this great miracle, so sometimes that's about the best we can do. I believe, help my unbelief, and by the grace of God, that's enough.